why are you running for mayor? And what are the, you know, aside from the communication aspects that you just mentioned, what are the biggest things that you're trying to accomplish in this? So I actually wasn't going to run for mayor this time. I, I, uh, I love the process. I loved, I mean, it was probably one of the most uh, rewarding experiences when I ran for mayor uh, a few years ago. But uh, just right now, I, it's not something that uh, I wanted to do. However, I'd made a pledge, and I, I really believe that the position of mayor shouldn't be handed to anyone. It shouldn't be kind of a default. Um, I mean, I, I think the people should choose who the mayor is. And so I waited until the very last day and you yeah, know, had a lot of conversations time. with a lot of people, uh, really encouraging. I mean, th there are some women that I know that are really in in tune with the community. I mean, they are out there. They are um, networkers. They they know what the issues are, and I think they're very level-headed. I think they would have been great on the council or or as mayor. You said several times you'd like to see more women on council. I would. Or I mean, it's been mayor. it's been quite some quite some time since we've had that, and so. Um, but you know that actually goes a little bit to to again. I love what you guys do, but sometimes I feel like. Um, and maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like some of the blogs try to fashion themselves after cable networks that are kind of like gotcha, you know, looking for those gotcha moments, looking for, rather than always trying to just get information out, it seems a little, um, I don't know, it could be damaging. And so some of the folks that I've spoken with considered it, and they just see what happens to some of the, on both sides really, on, on, on all the candidates, they, they see how negative it can get and I don't think it has to be that negative and so one of the things I want to do in this campaign is focus on on ideas focus on what uh, what our vision for for Louisville is rather than you know rather than anything negative I really want it to be more about what the positive things that we were bringing. issues that you were have in mind for things you'd like to accomplish in Louisville aside from how the office works, but issues like, you know, um, streets, water, police, fire, you know, sort of thing. Like, do, do, do I feel that above and beyond what the city's already addressing, just in the normal, do I feel that there are some ma major issues that we're asking? But, right, yeah, what are the major sure, issues sure. you're running on? So, um, I think the city does a great job. Uh, there, there's always room for improvement on various things, but um, rather than focus on micromanagement and and very specific things that may or may not be addressed or may may uh, you know if I think it, it could be done better what I'd rather do is talk about kind of what we could do above and beyond where we are what what can Louisville achieve that uh, right now we're just not maximizing the potential that I really feel we have um, would you be opposed to that I mean is that well it's uh it makes sense, sure. I, I think a, any elected official has got to keep in mind, you know, be open and. Uh, that and really, the, I, don't, I don't think the role of the mayor is to. I don't think that's the mayor's role. Um, actually, it's not that I don't think it's. It's not the mayor's role to really be, um, kind of in that micromanagement position. Uh, the mayor here in Louisville, we've got a manager council form of government, and so. It's really a ceremonial position. It's there, there's not a lot of power, and I think the more we can remember that and focus on with the you know with with the role and the power that that the mayor has, right. what can you do within those guidelines to help? You, you had mentioned on, on one of your Facebook posts about doing uh, promotional videos for local businesses. Yeah. My first thought was that, oh my gosh. There's thousands of them, sure. thousands of local businesses. You would be busy eight hours a day shooting well, videos for well, local you know, businesses. The, I didn't say that this would be done overnight, but I do think that for our brick and mortar businesses, um, what can we do that kind of makes Louisville different and unique from other cities? I've never heard of a city that, that took such an ambitious pro project. Um, I think it would be well worth the time and really in line with what I already do. I mean. Building relationships, meeting people, finding out what they're about, how they got started, what challenges they, they overcame. 
Uh, I mean, it's already what. Uh, you're prospecting for business, aren't you? Well, no. I mean, I'm not. I'm not talking about charging anything. I'm just talking about the conversations that I already like to have. Um, why not use that skill and let's go ahead and shoot it. Let's let other people know um, who's in Louisville. What? You know, what are some of the exciting businesses that you didn't know about? That you didn't know were here? What are some opportunities to rather than save three or four dollars by shopping online? shopping here in Louisville because oh, yeah. you saw a video, you saw the face of someone that uh, is raising a family here. You know, I, I think those are some of the differences that would help. Well, that's uh, something we could do today, right now. I can do it, you can do it. We oh, can no. kind of promote this. Sure, sure. But how can we, um, how can we push that out there in a lot? You and I can be, can be very um, community conscious and we can do that. And uh, with, our, with our inner circle, we can recommend that to the folks. But what could the position of mayor do to, to help? I mean, although there's not a lot of power as far as governance, there's a lot of power in the way of PR and, and sure. you know, vision. What can you put out there that can make a difference? So that's my question. I haven't seen the mayor out there in any, any type of creative way. Um, over the last three years, you know, there have been some ribbon cuttings, which is kind of customary, but what has the mayor done above and beyond to really help advance Louisville and, and bring business here to Louisville rather than Flower Mound or rather than Highland Village or Carrollton? I suspect we'll probably hear from his campaign. I'd love to, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, I'd, love to, I'd love to hear that. Um, I have a few more questions for you. Um, one of the criticisms that, that I feel and that I've also seen online from others um, it's just that you know you approached this in 2009, the first time you ran, uh, having never never served on a city board. I don't think you were even registered to vote in Louisville at that time. Um, now it's three years later. Um, I noticed that you did apply for a board after the uh, May election in 2009. Well, well pr yeah, prior to the election. Right. So, but I guess the question is, I mean, to go straight from. Winston the citizen to Winston the mayor. What gives? Yeah, well, yeah. I've been kind of to the top like I've that. been kind of uh, withholding that. That I was saving that for you because you had asked, okay. and then got right. it from a couple other people. But I wanted to give you the exclusive because I, you know, I think a lot of what this election needs to be about is is a little bit of education, um, kind of getting the record straight about what this position really is about because. If you think in terms of what the average person probably considers the mayor to be, kind of maybe Chicago style where, you know, it's the big boss who makes a lot of the rules and, and just has a lot of consolidated power, that's not what we have here. So if, you, if you're thinking in those terms, that would probably be a, a more legitimate question.